I've got a very special surprise for you guys today. Just over here, as you can see, meet the future, meet the Xpeng P7. That's right, you lovely people. EV.com is here for a first exclusive look at the P7, the all new P7. The original, of course, was one of the OGs of the China EV scene, one of the first truly competitive EVs to come from a Chinese homegrown brand. This has got some big shoes or wheels or whatever to fill. Can it live up to the P7 name? Let's find out. Okay, let's start at the front which is arguably one of the most important places for the brand's design language and we have a whole new thing going on here you'll notice we still have the light but this is a full length 1.4 meter daytime running light that goes across the full length of the car we also have this light up logo this is actually completely flush with the body work apparently it helps to improve drag as well every little helps i suppose we have an active air intake at the bottom here and at the edges we have the light which kind of goes around a corner so before especially with the original p7 these would have been smoother curves and now we see a more angular design which is the new generation of the brand's design language so moving down the side we have massive 21 inch wheels there with a simple but actually very good looking wheel design and the side profile is perhaps the part which most resembles that of the original p7 the original p7 had a very sexy silhouette and this one does a good job of kind of mimicking the p7 but also bringing it into the present day so here at the back and the old p7 kind of had a very obvious bum let's just be honest this one it kind of has a very smooth and aerodynamic shape at the back here so we've got a 62 degree windshield and at the back here we have a very smooth kind of runoff for the air the drag coefficient i'll tell you a little bit later but that's not the end of it so if i say xiao pi xiao pi so it does have an active rear spoiler here at the back which will obviously come out when you're hitting those higher speeds and this kind of pointed edge here with the lights at either side obviously this is a reflection of the front end let's have a look in the trunk while we're here so 575 liters for the standard trunk space expandable to 1929 liters we've got loads of storage under the floor there as well it is a big trunk but i will say it is a kind of low trunk so of course it is a sedan the roof line is a little bit low so if you're having those kind of bigger items like a sofa it might not fit in here so easily so voice commands from the outside we'll talk a little bit about that later inside here we have a let's be honest quite a small frunk 56 liters probably good for a couple of tools maybe a charging cable but better than nothing undoubtedly a very sexy looking car especially from this side it really makes you want to go for a drive doesn't it well we will be having a dynamic review of this in the coming weeks and months so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that so the numbers drag coefficient 0.2 Oh, one. What does this mean? Well, it's a sedan, so I'm not going to compare it to a Model Y. But if we take this up against a Xiaomi Su7, which one do you think is more aerodynamic? Actually, it's the Xiaomi with 1.95. Very close and both very good numbers. This is a highly efficient car, not just good looking, but actually able to cut through the air as well. Now, let's take a look inside. I usually skip over the interior of Xpeng's quite quickly. They're quite minimalist and not really much to talk about. Here, however, well, here is a different story. I mean, let's just start with this beautiful purple color. Doesn't it look great? Another highlight, if you'll notice here, there is a new steering wheel design. We have a three spoke steering wheel. So we moved on from the two spoke that we had in all of the models previously. I might be naughty and say this steering wheel reminds me a bit of a Xiaomi steering wheel, especially considering these buttons that we have down here. We have a very thin driver's display up here, which kind of reflects the sportiness of the car and the 15.6 inch screen we've seen across the 
range. This screen, however, is a little bit different. If I want to move it, I can tilt it. So we've got 15 degrees left and right and 10 degrees up and down. So I can use my hand or I can actually address the car and the screen will move. Not a slow movement, but a quick, you know, like movement of its head to whoever is talking to it. So that's good. We have the dual wireless pads here, cup holders. Again, this is a kind of very GT, a very race sent unit here, kind of envelops, wraps you in, a definitely a more sporty vibe. Digital rear view display. Another highlight of the P7 is this button on the door here, which is a touch button and it can be assigned to whatever function you like right now it has been assigned to the glove box so it just opens the glove box you could have it to you know turning your music on you could have it to opening the boots you know as you're getting out you press this it just opens the boot for you so that is a really nice touch and i also feel like they're learning a little bit from xiaomi and being so kind of user centric with their experiences otherwise we have the micro suede all over the place we have the napa leather on the seats here it is a very comfortable and premium electric car experience we also have their 87 inch ar heads up display and I, I feel like i've said ar heads up display quite a lot but this one is definitely closest to ar that i have seen this is very bright it's apparently projected 10 meters in front and it's an 87 inch screen you're looking at this one here can also be used to watch movies so instead of watching them here you can actually project it onto your heads up display if you want to although i will say you're probably better off just watching it on here so we have to talk very quickly about the intelligence of this car xpunk calls this a super ai hub they love using ai this brand so in here what do we have we've got three self-developed turing ai chips which we also saw on the g7 review of that coming soon and one qualcomm 8295p so this is the kind of industry standard chip so the effective computing power of the cabin is claimed to be 26 times more powerful than that final chip which is the industry standard so what does this mean well this means advanced levels of self-driving the g7 already has level three and with these chips you're potentially future proof for even higher levels than that it also means you're going to have more integration of ai into the user experience in the car how this will develop well right now we don't know but at least with these chips we are ready for whatever will come it also means better coverage from things like its smart assistant for example i could even talk to it from the outside and say xiaopi xiaopi I can get it to, you know, open the trunk, open the front. I could even get it to do remote parking in and out. There's the list of potential features for this is quite endless. Xiaopi, Xiaopi. Hmm, my Chinese is pretty good. So let's take a look in the back of the all new P7. So of course we have to remember that this is a sedan. So I've been told that the legroom in this car is great. And actually I have to say, it is pretty good. You know, my seat is in my driver's position. I have got, you know, a fist and a half between me and the seat in front. I will say that, of course, this being a sedan, the headroom is a little bit compromised. It's a little bit, well, tight would be an understatement, let's just say that. Here we have an eight inch display for things like your air conditioning in the rear climate here, as well as your kind of music. We also have two 60 watt rapid charging outlets here and a kind of basic center unit so actually it's very comfortable here i'd say if you're average height or less you'll have a great time so while the front seats have heating ventilation and massaging we only get heating in the back here probably enough for most scenarios so a few other things about the all new p7 firstly 800 volt architecture 5c charging so just as fast as all the other xpengs in the range so you're talking 400 kilometers in like 10 minutes or whatever so very fast charging no battery information shared i believe for now at least this is going to be rear wheel drive only hopefully they release a all-wheel drive version because this would be very 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 fun to drive i imagine 702 or 820 kilometers of cltc range so there it is the new p7 does it live up to the p7 name are you excited to find out how this thing drives i know i am make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that review in the coming weeks be sure to leave your comments on what you think about the p7 below 
Is it an improvement on the original P7? What do you like most about this new design? Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. I'll see you next time.